Hard break during the holidays. Five people, including two children, killed in an overnight house fire in DeKalb County. Our Rebecca Schramm is live on Janet Lane, where she actually spoke with a grieving grandmother who's mourning the loss of her five family members. Rebecca, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Karen. You know, it's hard to even begin to imagine this woman's grief. She did not live here at this home on Janet Lane, but 10 of her relatives did. You could see the home is destroyed and the survivors will now have to make funeral arrangements for five of them. Uh, uh, oh, oh God. Octavia Cooper's world is turned upside down. Five of her closest family members died when flames ripped through this home on Janet Lane near Decatur. My daughter, my two grandkids, and my two brothers, two of my brothers. Gone are three-year-old Angel Regular, her sister, six-year-old Aaliyah, their mother, 30-year-old Teriana, who had just learned she's pregnant, and two great uncles, Timothy Regular and Pedro Coney. Five other family members survived. My daughter called me. She made it out with her two kids. And my sister, they made it out. My sister's burning real bad. She's at Grady. I look out my window, I see it's burning. I'm like, what? Next door neighbors, father and son Willie and Lawrence Hodges, heard people screaming that children were inside. Willie, who served in the Army for 34 years, grabbed his gas mask. The first thing I was going to do is soak down a sheet to throw over me and put my gas mask on so I can get in there. By the time he got outside, fire trucks had arrived. Their thoughts are now with this family, whom they describe as good, good people. It's just sad. It's heartbreaking, especially so close to Christmas, too. And now comes the task for investigators of trying to figure out how the fire started. In the meantime, a spokeswoman for the Red Cross of Georgia tells me they will be helping the family with food, clothing and other immediate needs, including mental and spiritual help. And I've just learned from a loved one that they have set up an online fundraiser to help this family uh, come up with funeral expenses. You can imagine how expensive that will be. We've got a link in a story we've posted on our website, cbs46.com. Live in DeKalb County near Decatur, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. Just tragic, Rebecca, thank you.